Joining us live on Smart Family, I'm Daphne Monroe. And I'm Connie Cola, and our goal is always to keep it smart and simple, and you're going to learn something new every day. That's right, and today's smart topic involves healthy eating and making sure our bodies get all the necessary nutrients. You know, beyond vitamins and minerals, fiber and protein, we all know that we also need water. But there's one other key ingredient that you may be missing in your foods. Well, we all need oxygen to breathe, right? That's obvious. But did you know that you need it in your diet to keep you healthy? Well, to explain more about this is Titian Donkersley, who is the editor in chief of Green Living Magazine. Thank so, you. welcome, Thank Titian. Thank you so much. So, I'm curious. So, what exactly is Ox oxygenated foods, like why do we need it to be healthy? Well, a couple things. You want to keep our cells healthy and mm -hmm. free of illness and or cancer. So okay. if you have oxygen enriched cells, then that can prevent a lot of illness. Okay. So well, I like that. That's a healthy. plus, right? Yes. Well, so let's talk about some things that we can eat that have the okay. oxygen in them. Right. Well, first thing is the raw food diet. Okay. I know you love that. Mm -hmm. So, and we, we want to encourage that because the things that you eat in a raw food diet are made of water, which okay. is hydrogen and oxygen, which helps the transfer of oxygen through our blood and that's what we're really going for more oxygen we can get through our blood and you as an, an athlete mm -hmm. runner understand to get endurance and healthy muscles and everything you need more oxygen into your into your diet right well for those people who are out there and haven't heard of a raw food diet can you just briefly explain what that we is basically get back to the basics of you know fruits and vegetables legumes okay and nuts, so so kind of the things that you pick off the trees are the things that you put in your mouth and therefore that's yeah. what makes it raw and you don't have to cook it in order to eat it yeah okay think, going I, back to the farmer I okay like I like that okay so our next type of food, you say uh, uh, green veggies. Yeah, let's go back to green veggies here. And they contain um, chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. And chlorophyll is, has a very similar structure to our blood. And when you eat um, green vegetables, it transfers that into our blood and helps um, the oxygen transfer into our blood and, and enrich our Okay, our body got that. that. Well, bottom line is, is that you you can't go wrong with green in your you diet. Can't. I mean, there's so much nutrients in it and so good for you. Kale would be another good one Kale's also. Kale's a great one, absolutely. Okay. And... Um, Fruits and Complex vegetables. Complex carbohydrates. We always try. You always hear that over and over. Go back mm -hmm. to the basics of right. your fruits, your vegetables. I even brought some dried fruit to bring mm -hmm. that in. And our grains. You know, flaxseed is another thing that's right. really wonderful. Whole grains. Whole, Whole grains. grains. Okay. Whole grains. Bring that in. So, unprocessed foods. like um, So, you don't want them to be processed either. So. No, we'll get to that too. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Then we want to talk about antioxidants. And we love talking about that. And I just brought some examples of that. Juices mm -hmm. extracting from vegetables and fruits. Okay. So that you can, it will help um, transfer the oxygen faster. It'll help make it more efficient in, okay. your, in your blood. So. so keeping it pure. So what that means is like if you get like juice, like um, I won't say any brands, but right. certain juices that say that uh, they're juice, but really only 10% <laughs> is actually extracted and the rest is all sugar, um, sugar water, fructose, exactly. high corn fructose and all that stuff. So definitely so look not. for that. So you want it totally extracted from the uh, fruits and vegetables. Or do you squeeze your own. Okay, that's what I do. So then we get into um, kind of the more complexing of the mm -hmm. iron. So mm -hmm. where iron is an, an oxygen enriching um, a produce. So Artichokes and beans, actually specifically, can help enrich your blood with oxygen. Okay. Help the transfer of it. Tish and darling. Yes. I, I'm going to have to. I'm uh -oh. going to have to comment on this. Canned vegetables. Canned beans are okay, but canned vegetables. Uh uh uh. You want it as fresh as possible. I know. Well, I read an artichoke there. We just there. use it as an example. I just, just had to give you example. a hard time because I don't want goes. you guys thinking that going out and buying uh, canned vegetables is ideal. It's better to either so have maybe them frozen we or just fresh. need to put yeah. this. We'll put like, that over there. Right there. There we go. There we go. Okay. See now she's happy. Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Let's get next. into our eggs. B12. Right. Mm -hmm. With cheese and eggs. And for those that that choose not to eat eggs or or dairy, then you can use soy okay. as well. So that, so that will help again um, transfer the oxygen, make it more enriching and stuff. Okay. And transfer to your muscles as well. Okay. And then we have copper, actually, which I found is interesting. Copper. For, uh, copper. Wait, copper and there is almonds and, and sunflower seeds, particularly to extract and chocolate. I really? found that in the research. I know, but it does. It helps transfer all the oxygen to the muscles. So, as an athlete, you're training or just working out and stuff. These kind of things will help get to your muscles or and just keep under a person. Period. Just a person. Period. Right. Exactly. But okay. for those that really now. Okay. Now, how is Coca-Cola? Oxygen, you know, good good for us. It's not. Okay, so these are oxygen-depleting oxygen foods. Correct. So these are no-nos. <laughs> I think under everything under the umbrella, these are no-nos. Exactly. So a couple things I just brought. Processed foods, as you said before, mm -hmm. no-nos. White bread. Okay. Forget it. Forget it. Carbonated beverages are it's just complete. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I brought these wonderful things that sometimes are fed in the morning but are not Absolutely good. not considered a nutritious diet. And then, like, um, <laughs> you want to talk about process. How process. How do you have fried chicken? Is that the best? That's fried 
frozen. I found okay? it. It was easy to no, find. No, 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 no. So, okay, well, some good stuff there, Tisha. Good stuff. We always learn some good things. So keep yourself nice and healthy, and um, you're, uh, you'll have all these good cells pumping through your body. If you want more information or you want to check out Green Living Magazine, you can go to our website at abc15.com and click on the Lifestyle tab. Good content. Hey, thanks, staff. Well, we asked you on our Facebook page if you'd ever heard of oxygenated foods and your best guess as to what they might be. And here's what one of you had to say. Denise Magic writes, I assume that it is food that puts oxygen into your body. And I'm not sure what foods. I hope they're veggies. I eat a lot of them. And we just learned what they are. So that's great. Hey, join the conversation. We're at facebook.com forward slash smartfamily15 and we are reading your comments. So join the conversation now.